Okay, so here I have the setup for making um, our unknown solutions for part B. So we're going to determine the solubility product constant for the um, so partially soluble salt uh, silver chromate. To make that, make sure that you follow along with the directions on page 116 through 117. Um, so there are several steps where you're uh, making sure that things come to equilibrium, you're decanting, you're going to be using the centrifuge um, several times. So do read that procedure from page 116 to 117, but I did want you to see before it got centrifuged or anything, um, the reaction between the silver nitrate and the potassium chromate. Uh, and there's several washing steps, so I also have some sodium nitrate over here for that. So we wanna let this come to the equilibrium phase and then we're gonna transfer most of the solid um, to these little test tubes and then we'll centrifuge them. Um, so again, read that procedure on page 116 through 117 and then we'll have unknowns. We're gonna have three unknowns and to determine their concentration, you will be using your calibration curve that you created in part A. Um, so we'll come back with uh, those solutions already made and ready to go in the spec 20. Okay, so I have made of the unknowns for this um, solubility product constant um, test. Um, so again, we're trying to calculate the solubility product constant of silver chromate. Uh, so I'm just gonna fill up my cuvettes. So I have these three samples, three unknowns here. It's the same process as using the spec 20 for part A. Okay, and I also have a cuvette uh, with water in it. So I'll calibrate my machine since it's been a little while since I used it last. And I just filled those up to the little line that's on um, my cuvettes. So we'll move back to the spec 20. So we're still gonna use that um, same wavelength, 405 nanometers. First thing I wanna do since I left my machine is make sure that I zero it cal uh, to calibrate it. So I'm putting my distilled water into the machine and I'll hit the zero button. Then we'll do the three unknowns. So we'll read the percent transmits for each of those three unknowns. Remember to wipe off your cuvette before you put it into the spec 20. So this is unknown one. The percent transmittance is 57.3%. percent 47.4%. 47.4%. Then we'll do unknown three. Fifty-four point six percent is the percent transmittance for unknown three. Um, so you can calculate the absorbance for each of those percent transmittances, and then using your your calibration curve, you're going to find the concentration of the chromate ion based on your calibration curve. From the spec 20, you um, should have recorded your percent T's for all of your solutions. So for part A, you have the known concentrations of those potassium chromate um, solutions. Um, so you wanna find the absorbances for each of those. So here you can see the equation absorbance is equal to two minus the log of percent T. Um, so you'll have to calculate the absorbance for each of those um, solutions. And then to make your calibration curve, you're going to do the absorbance versus the concentration. So your graph should look something like this. You have absorbance uh, versus the concentration. You have four known solutions uh, and you have those percentees. So I just put these dots on there and fit it with the best line, a line of um, 
best fit. So again, that line does have to be straight. It is not a connect the dots line. Um, so I wanted to show you what an example calibration curve would look like so that you can calculate the concentration for uh, your unknown solutions for part B. Okay, so if you have this calibration curve, you have calculated the absorbance of each of your unknowns. Okay, so you have the percent T, you use the equation to convert that to absorbance. Uh, so you can find your absorbance over here. So let's say your absorbance is here. Then to find that concentration, you're gonna go straight over to the line, wherever it, the line meets and then down to the concentration. So you can calculate the concentrations of each of your unknowns that way using this calibration curve um, of the absorbance versus the concentration. And then once you have that, you wanna think about what you're trying to find. So the goal of this lab is to find the solubility product constant, the KSP for silver chromate. Um, so if you think about the silver chromate um, dissolution in water, this is a, an equilibrium reaction. That's why I have the, the double headed arrows. So it splits up into its ions. So we have two silver ions. So silver is a plus one ion. So we have two of those. And then the chromate ion. Um, so this is the equation that it goes by. Then you can write the expression for the KSP value. So KSP, if we use this equation, um, so KSP is going to be equal to the concentration of our silver ion squared because there are two of them in our reaction and then times the concentration of the chromate ion. Um, so your calibration curve deals with the chromate ion. The, that chromate is what makes that solution yellow in each of those um, samples that you saw um, using that spec 20. So you're finding the concentration of your chromate ion and then you want to be sure to know that when you move to try to find the concentration of your silver ion, it is twice that of the chromate ion. So the silver concentration is two times the concentration of your chromate ion. Um, so there's places on your report sheet where you can find um, the concentration of your chromate ion as well as the silver ion remember it's double that of the silver uh, the silver is double that of the chromate ion and then you can plug that into your ksp expression uh, to calculate the experimental ksp values